Some trees flooded roads and car crashes. A look at the damage from today's storm. The heaviest of the rain moved through earlier today, but what about the rest of tonight? I've got you covered. Plenty of rain leads to multiple road closures in North County. We have the latest coming up. And rumors that you, the taxpayer, are picking up the tab for the money lost in the Silicon Valley bank collapse. We verify. And hundreds of pieces of art are up for sale to help cats. How you can sink your claws into a beautiful painting. And San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria is here to answer your questions live. CBS 8 News Live at 6 starts now. All right, some good news from this latest winter storm tonight. Water restrictions are now lifted for 7 million of us in Southern California. That's according to the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. But the storm is still creating problems tonight and more rain is heading our way this weekend. Good evening. I'm Jesse Pagan in for Carla Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. This rain started last night and we heard it coming down pretty hard overnight, consistent through most of today. We have your first microclimate forecast coming up in just a couple of minutes, but we begin tonight with CBS 8's Shannon Handy, who has been all over the county today. She begins our coverage from Mission Valley and shows us what she found there. Shannon. I was out here exactly two weeks ago when the San Diego River flooded. Today, the water is much higher. This is just one of many problem areas throughout the county. It's something we often see when it rains in San Diego. The San Diego River was raging the result of this latest winter storm. Barricades were put up to keep drivers out. Meanwhile, several parking lots at Fashion Valley closed due to flooding. The nearby Riverwalk Golf Course was also underwater. In North County, it was a similar scene on Harmony Grove Road and Country Club Drive, though a bit more dire for people like Matt Perella, who couldn't cross. Every day that it rains, this happens, and the only problem with that is, is that this is one way in, one way out. Matt so, was desperate to get to happened? his horse, who was in need of food on the other side. Admittedly, he tried to drive through, but quickly realized it wasn't a good idea. I almost got arrested a little bit because I did attempt to cross. I have crossed several times this week. Unfortunately, today has been the worst I've seen it, and when I saw it over my tires, I knew right away it was not safe to go across. In San Marcos, more flooding. This is what the Twin Oaks golf course looked like. Colin Duncan sent us this video showing these same conditions at La Costa Resort in Carlsbad. Twin Peaks is flooded. Stephanie Piercy shot this one in Poway. The storm also took down several trees. This one toppled over on Black Mountain Road. Another one blocked Muirlands Drive in La Jolla. Another issue today, car crashes. A total of four vehicles were involved in this one on Del Mar Heights and Carmel Canyon Roads. San Diego police tell us a 16-year-old boy was heading eastbound when he lost control in the rain and swerved into vehicles stopped at a red light headed the opposite way. One of the other drivers suffered serious injuries. And in Mission Hills, a problem of a different kind. Too much rain led to a small landslide outside this historic home, taking out a couple of large trees, shrubbery, and pillars. The owner, who did not want to show her face on camera, says she's worried about her safety, saying she fears it may get much worse. It's frightening, you know, and it's 20 feet away from um, our son's bedroom. You know, you're worried about the erosion and where's the water going and how do we stop the water? Shannon Handy, CBS 8. Well, the rain may be moving out, but conditions are still hazardous out on our roads tonight. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis here early with a first look at your microclimate forecast. Carlene? I don't know if you saw it when you were coming into work, mm -hmm. but it's very foggy out there. Mm -hmm. So now we have that to deal with, along with the roads that are still slick. Exactly. So that's going to be sticking around as we go through tonight. So please give yourself some extra time. We do have the rain moving out. The bulk of that moisture was earlier today. But when we take a look at what's actually sticking, it's really light stuff that we're seeing along the 8, also seeing that for Pine Valley as well as moving in towards the desert. Now, when we take a look at reduced visibility, it is down to less than a mile. That is for Fallbrook, also talking about it being down to a mile for downtown. We've been seeing these numbers fluctuate throughout the evening, a mile and a half for Oceanside and also a little less than that for El Cajon. So that's going to continue to be the case with reduced visibility because of fog as we go into the overnight hours. Now, we are going to dry out. That's going to be the case by tomorrow. So yeah, a little bit more sunshine by the afternoon hours. Now, you're noticing I put maybe a light shower, but I didn't put raindrops on the forecast. It's very slight chance we could see some light activity Friday, Saturday and Sunday and then cloudy conditions on Monday and that's all ahead of yet another atmospheric river. So we'll get to those details for next week coming up. Marcella. Thanks, Carlene. In La Jolla, Muirlands Drive is back open tonight after the storm sent a giant tree to the ground. 
It blocked off the road for quite some time, but crews were finally able to clean it all up. I think that's the wrong video, but we're seeing a lot of flooding. Meantime, the stormy weather is also causing sinkholes to form across San Diego. Right now, the stairs leading down the Jerabic Park and Scripps Ranch are closed because of a sinkhole that's formed. In Del Mar, another one opened up on San Diego Drive next to the lagoon, and a sinkhole that opened up in Cardiff is getting bigger. The city of Encinitas says repairs on this one will last through April. Up in North County and South Orange County, the wet weather has led to multiple road closures, more sinkholes, infrastructure damage, and a lot more. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe shows us the impact of the rain there and where a landslide forced people out of their homes. Behind me, you can see traffic is just barely moving on the overpass. That's the 78 West. Just hours ago, both east and westbound lanes were completely shut down after a culvert failed. The evening commute will be different for those who typically use State Route 78. That's because only a few lanes of the highway in both directions have reopened. We have um, a culvert that's failed that we're, we have an emergency contract to correct. So we've got about 12 inches of depression that we're going to need to repave back and then we're going to go in and uh, replace the culvert. According to the latest update from crews on the ground, the right two westbound lanes just east of El Camino Rao remain closed. Traffic is being diverted to just one lane. Going eastbound, two lanes have been reopened, but the right lane remains closed. Sean Rizzuto with Caltrans says the outdated infrastructure and the amount of recent rain led to the failure. This additional rain has caused additional uh, undermining of the roadway. The constant rainfall also flooded streets all across San Diego County, including in Bonsall, where we saw cars get stuck in several feet of water. This is one of the worst I've seen it. Robert DeYoung has lived in the area several years and says the water rises quickly, catching many drivers off guard. You can't see where the road is and what happens with these folks is they lose track of the center of the road and they go off onto the shoulder and they can get into four, five, six foot deep water. The powerful storms, heavy rain and gusty winds caused a landslide in San Clemente that forced three apartment buildings to be evacuated. Crews say they are monitoring other buildings as the bluff continues to move. Caltrans says crews are out on rain patrol working to fill potholes, remove down trees and address flooded areas. They're asking drivers to slow down and report any issues that they see. To find out how to submit a request, visit our website, cbs8.com. Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8. All right, Rocio, thank you. And a quick update for you with the latest info from Caltrans. All lanes of 78 westbound between College and El Camino Real are expected to be closed until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Show us the weather where you live or any damage. If it is safe for you to take those photos and videos, you can share them on our CBS 8 app. Just go to the Near Me section right at the bottom of the app and click on or tap on that Share With Us button. Right now, families living in two apartment complexes in Mira Mesa have been forced to evacuate. Tonight, SDG&E just told us that crews have stopped that gas leak, so that is good news. It started just before 3.30 this afternoon when police say two drivers collided and created a natural gas leak. The two complexes are in the 10,200 block of Black Mountain Road. That's right near Gold Coast Drive. One of the drivers was taken to the hospital. We don't know the extent of that person's injuries, and we don't know yet what caused this crash. The complexes are still evacuated right now until they're deemed safe. March Madness is set to start tomorrow for the Aztecs, and today the team held a public practice and then a press conference. Our John Howard has more. Uh, he made the trip to Orlando and has the very latest from Florida tonight. Thank you, Marcella and Jesse. I'm having a great time here in Orlando. The Aztecs will be having a great time if they get the win tomorrow. It would be the first win with Brian Dutcher as head coach in an NCAA tournament game for San Diego State. So hopefully he gets that monkey off his back. Uh, today, this afternoon, the Aztecs had a workout at the Amway Center, home to the Orlando Magic. State is a five and a half point favorite against Charleston, South Carolina. These are two schools looking to make a name for themselves on the national stage. That should make it an entertaining game. This is not uh, a Power Five school going against a non-Power Five, where you might say, "Well, we're a Power Five conference." This is two uh, uh, non-Power Five schools that are wired the right way, that play hard-nosed, tough basketball, and you have to respect it when you see it on tape. And our guys have seen it on tape. Uh, it's a blessing. This is what I came here for. Uh, this is what we talked about throughout the whole year in the summer when I was in my process of uh, transferring here. 
So, I mean, it's just a blessing, man. We're finally here and we're excited to do what we came here to do. It feels really good. You know, this is why I came back from our second year to have this opportunity again. And I think right now we're just capping off to an amazing season that we had, winning regular season, winning the Mountain West tournament. So, uh, we just want to show everybody what type of team we have. So, uh, really looking forward to this opportunity. Uh, the Aztecs have a team dinner tonight. And coming up during the sportscast at 650, we'll hear from Aztecs athletic director J.D. Wicker and the latest on the possible move of the Aztecs to the Pac-12. He says it's all but inevitable. I guess I wasn't supposed to give that away, but that's all right. Jesse and Marcella, let's go back to you two now. <laughs> oh, no, that's not a good tease, or maybe it is. Thanks, John. <laughs> still ahead, fed up sdg &E customers are speaking out, and you could still have your chance. Plus, questions about who's picking up the tab in the Silicon Valley bank collapse. We verify. And up next, San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria is live in our studio to answer your questions.